Five, the first round of participants in the Quincy Area Chamber of Commerce Leadership Institute graduated today. WGEM's Joseph Lawler is live in Quincy. So Joseph, you spoke to one graduate. What do they have to say? Well, Daniel, 19 graduates were honored at today's luncheon. After speaking with one of them, she says that the Leadership Institute gave her a fresh outlook on the city she grew up in. This program is instrumental. The Quincy Area Chamber of Commerce honored their first class of graduates out of their new Leadership Institute. This nine-month program is not only a way for local professionals to grow their leadership skills, but it ultimately looks to help them to develop community engagement skills. One graduate, Kalina Gentry, says the Leadership Institute helped her to open up to what Quincy has to offer. Even though I went to school here, I went to high school here, I went to college here, but there's just so much more that Quincy has to offer and this gave me an opportunity to see different aspects of it. Participants attended several sessions that ranged in topics from local history, nonprofits, entrepreneurship, manufacturing, and government. Chamber President and CEO Bruce Guthrie says it's important for them to invest in Quincy's future. These leaders are, are part of our business uh, community, which also is part of all of, the, all of the other things that go on in our community, from serving on boards, being volunteers. Guthrie says the sessions also include panel discussions with local experts who touched on critical issues affecting Quincy. Gentry says after going through the Leadership Institute, she has more skills and practices she can integrate into her work moving forward. This class truly helped me know how I can make a better impact in Quincy for myself, for my peers, for my family, and um, for my business. Each of the 19 graduates were given a certificate and an Honorary Leadership Institute Award. Live in Quincy, Joseph Lawler, WGM News. All right, thank you, Joseph. Guthrie says they plan to continue the Institute in the years to come, and they'll be announcing application information in June.